Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Lifestyle Cafe. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother, and I'm here with my wife and co-host, Alicia. Hello. And we just binged out and watched the Runaway series. If y'all don't know about the Runaway series, it's based on a Marvel comic book series. And a couple of comic books out, I think I looked at about uh, 20 something episodes but here's a long summary (laughs) of what's it about it's the situation six los angeles teenagers find themselves in when they stumble upon a terrible secret and realize that their parents have been lying to them for their entire lives the offspring begin investigation to try and figure out what their guardians are after while the adults wonder if their kids are hiding secrets of their own. So, pretty interesting. Doesn't it sure really is. tell you anything, mm-hmm. even with the, um, the concept. But this is what it truly, I think, um, you know, I'm paraphrasing as well, is a bunch of misfit kids um, get together as friends because their parents are friends and they find out that their parents are evil <laughs> um, villains. And once they get together, they find out that they have certain powers and abilities. Um, and they're trying to use that to go against their evil parents. So, really, really good show. Very good. I'm going to just tell it that up front. Because I saw the Runaway comic books a long time ago, and I was kind of like, ah, this is probably one of those pop culture type kitty things. And I read like two um, comic books of it, and I was kind of like, hmm, I don't know where this is going. And I actually stopped. So I, I was aware of the comic books at first. But there's a, there's a couple of differences between the two. Um, but before we get into that, Alicia, um, tell me your thoughts and, um, your overview of the Runaway series. I really love the Runaway series. Um, I was a little, at the beginning, I was like, okay, this is another high school thing. You know, you don't want adults to watch it, but, um, to track more teenagers or young people to watch it, but it was very interesting because it not only had the teenagers mm-hmm. level but it had adults yep and it kind of like okay i see where it's going you know how the children how the teenagers kind of knew what was really going on where the adults was like really kind of slow in understanding what they were really got their behinds into yep and so um it, it, it that was where i was like really interested in it you know right. you know it's it was saying that okay our parents are stupid to think that they're killing these people to to what is it to a ritual mm-hmm. for this one person yeah. you know to to keep him alive right and so the kids was like they're killing killing teenagers they're killing us <laughs> you know mm-hmm. and the adults are like no you just don't understand we're trying to save your life and like they was like dude you know what's all this is about so it was really good because it, the storyline was really easy to watch mm-hmm. and you you know and it was like you were rooting for the teenagers yeah you know because that's, they actually wanted to do the right thing yes as they opposed did. to the parents trying to get the kids to do the right thing yeah it, it was, was it was opposite right and yeah. you know it was the greed of the parents because every last one of them you know this person what's his name i can't remember his name i kept forgetting his name but this one person kept them um, um gave the parents something to want to um to live you know right. what i'm saying they gave them it was jo- um jordan jo- jo- no j-o-n-a-h Jonas. Jonan. Yeah, Jonas. It was yeah. Jonas. And Jonas was the evil person. Yeah, so Jonas was either um an alien. An alien. Or just a person with some kind of ability. Yeah. Um 
because remember, it's from the Marvel comic books because they could be mutants or they can be aliens mm-hmm. or they can be anything. And that's what makes it interesting. Yeah, so be, yeah, because it that uh, over the the, the um, series you started to see what these people, what the adults were doing, and there was like you know there, there was two of them that was like what the hell you what you doing why you do this you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. um, but it was all greed. Yeah, most of it, uh, majority of it is was greed from the parents. Yeah. So I can give you uh, a quick synopsis of the comic book. Which they made it a little more realistic So people can be able to digest it better So the comic book The parents were, weren't were just regular people serving this one person They were people with different powers mm-hmm. They were actually Had abilities Had true abilities Right You know right. one with magic One was from the future A couple had certain other powers So they were had different powers and abilities as well. They wasn't just greedy parents that was getting into um, this ritual for the one person. So that could have got confusing as a series. So the rewrite, I think, made it easily digestible, which I think they did a really good job of rewriting it. Because if they didn't do it that way, so think about that. You got kids finding out they got abilities, right? Mm-hmm. But their parents all got different abilities and they coming together in different ways so you had to track all of that and the kids and what ritual and all of these other things so what they did is like well let's slow this down it's a little too complicated um let's make it simple parents get greedy because if someone gives them whatever they want to make their life easier parents will do that because they want to take care of their children right and right. have their life together but in turn, they didn't realize that their kids had certain abilities that they didn't really understand. And because of this being that they were serving. But I just thought it was really, really good because I think the characters on there were good as well. Especially the children. I think the children played a better role than the parents. But it was centered on the, on the children anyway. Right. It was central on the teenagers, yes. So, um... It was. I really loved. Um, I really loved all the the teenage characters. I mean, there's nothing that you couldn't dislike about it. Um, the adults seemed to be just stupid. <laughs> well, they was they were greedy. To your point, their stupidity was based on their greed. And then when it got out of hand, then they started being guilty. But it was too late for that. Yeah, it was too late for that. I mean, you capitalized. You know, the father was in fucking jail um, and became a millionaire. Because he acquiesced to what Jonas wanted. Uh, the other scientists, they got money off things that they was associating themselves with Jonas. And then the other scientists did the same thing, creating things. And then the church, that they created this this whole church, which wasn't in the comic book. They was just the her mother, um, the one, what was her name? Carolyn with a K. Her parents were just movie stars. And so, but they created a whole church concept to make things surrounding around that. Right, right. They which did. I thought that was really cool because that wasn't in a comic book. Right, and I think that's the more realistic to you know what's going it's on. Easily digestible. You yes. can take that in as going, oh, okay, I get that. Oh, I get that. Yeah. Ceremonial and religion, you can They 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 go hand in yeah, hand. Yeah, they do go hand in hand. And she has such a big church where they were just hitting rooms all over the place. Yeah. And, you know, it was a huge church, you know what I mean? And started by her father. Which was, you know, really, really interesting. And I love the couple. The one couple I do like was the Yorks. Your Yorkies. Or Yorks. Yeah, yeah they were adorable. <laughs> I thought they were just so nerdy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I thought that was just really, really cool. I mean, and the way they did the storyline was really good. I mean, you kind of like, okay, so, um, you know, each, like the the, the black couple, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He he convinced his boy to take to, the, to the take fall for him. To fall for him, but then didn't hook him up. You know what I'm saying? That was greed. Yeah. That was, I'm like, dude, he took the he fall for you. He made millions of dollars. Yeah. And he took the fall for you. And you and you supposed it hooked him up. Yeah, exactly. And you and you didn't do it. 
Exactly. So that was a whole, I was like, that's messed up. So I think one of the great things before you go on, because I think you starting to get into the, um, how defining the film made it really interesting is it was multicultural. Yes, it was. And almost to a certain point of um, levels of where some people were rich, super rich, and then the other ones were like in between, and then the other ones were like, hey, we living off what we got and we're fine. That was the Yorkies. They was kind of like, hey, we're fine. We, we like cheese and we like science and we'll go live in the woods. We're fine with that. Yeah, yeah. Where a couple of other ones, they were big time. Yeah, they want you know, to be rich. The they, opulence and all of that. They wanted to be rich and known and they all worked together to be something. So I love the diversity in there. You know, had Hispanics, had blacks, you had um, Asians. Asians. Yeah. And everything was a great balance. Yes, it was. It never focused on color it didn't. or race. Yep. It, did. it just. It was what it was. And I think that was one of the things that I enjoyed the most because they didn't try to focus on color. Even though, like, the the young boy's Alex's father was, you know, a gangbanger and he had a gangbanger friend, they didn't focus and say, because he was a gangbanger and that's the wrong... They didn't even... They moved past that. They just said, you know, that's your past, but this is what we're dealing with right now. They didn't focus on that. And then the, the Asian parents, and then they had, you know, even within that, they was having a affair in there and going from that. Mm-hmm. But it was cross-cultural as well. But they just had to deal with it as they dealt with it. They didn't deal with it on a way of, well, this was an Asian woman, this was a white man, it was a blah, 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 blah. It wasn't or yeah, Asian man and a white woman, sorry. Um, and then abuse. They dealt with the abuse um within one of the family yes, as well. Yes, they did. They did. And it was it was really very, very realistic in certain ways. The affair and, the affair they had in there. And it was it was really, really good the way they yeah, wrote it, it and if, directed it. It felt realistic. It felt that it this is what goes on in the normal lives when and if you're living in the real world. Mm-hmm. And especially in California when there's just a lot of um you know openness in a lot of things that they do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And how the multi multicultural environment people deal with each other regardless. They just they just do. There's not so much ethnicity or anything like that because the people we met who was Asian is really different on the West Coast than they are on the East Coast. That's correct. I have friends on the East Coast, but they still really center themselves in their own community. But the people that we know on the West Coast that have Asian descent, they welcome you like, hey, what's going on, bro? And everything is just so naturally cool. You just know them and you deal with them. So it's a different kind of feel so when when you saw that you saw the natural um companionship the natural way that they dealt with each other and i just thought it was really really interesting yeah and i mean um like i said i really loved it i love the teenagers you know reacting to the teenagers and i love how the parents are parents yep regardless <laughs> they yeah. they're, they're parents they're parents yeah mm-hmm. you know uh, you know like the, the like I said, the black couple. Um, it was interesting how when they you know introduced them, it's mm-hmm. like how Jonas came to them and said, "Hey, there's some property that your grandma owned, and I'm gonna know, buy it for five million dollars right now." Yeah, and he was like, "But yeah, you can't get out." And you know the follow. No, like, they said no. I don't want to just take the money. I want to be a partner. Right, I want to be a partner. They was like, "You can't be a partner inside of here." He's like, "No, I can do that." He was like, "No, no, you can't." He says, so if I, and then she was like, because she was his lawyer. His wife was his lawyer. Yep, that's right. And she was like, hey, if I can get him out in a month, what would that do? Exactly. So that's how they got hooked up together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So even in a comic book, the the young girl, Molly's parents, they didn't die yet. No, they didn't. So as all of this was going on, they were part of it. They all were part of it. So it was totally... um, you know, what is it, six, it was 12 parents, you know, two for each of those, and where they kept Molly with the, who's that, the 
the Yorkies. The yeah, Yorks. Yorkies. Yeah, yeah Yorkies. So well, it was interesting, them. you know, no, how I that still, went. I still like that because shit like that happens. Yeah, you because know what it I mean? was interesting how um, you kind of knew it had something to do, something they got killed in some form or fashion, but you didn't really know how because they, you know, they, they kind of put a little bit of it at the very beginning. Of, yeah, so you didn't really know how they died until they until was like later on in the series. Right, and when it came to the end of it, and you were like, oh, this is what happened to them. Wow. Mm-hmm. And this is how she got the powers. Yeah, and so that but it, I like how they didn't have to do it right away. Yeah, me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So everything progressed to a certain point. It was not really. Let me show you. They got the powers from here. Let's move on from that. It was right. like, no, you, you, you'll figure it out. You just, you got to go from there. And her, her powers actually manifest when she started what menstruating, right? Yeah. That's when it truly manifests. She had it all along, but. It just manifests during that period there, which is, you know, excuse the pun. Um, <laughs> but really, really enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. At first, I even after the comic book, I was really thinking, why would they do a series? Oh, they're just trying to attract the kids. Uh, I get it. But I thought it would be like on Nickelodeon or whatever like that. But it wasn't. It actually was a really good storyline. The way they rewrote it, I, I really sometimes when they rewrite stuff, you kind of like eh, they should have kept it like the comic books. In this case, I really think they did a really good job by going against the comic book. Well, I like the fact that how they built each teenage character mm-hmm. with the abilities. Right. You know, how they show their abilities. Um I thought that was adorable where one of the girls from the Yorksies, Yorks, yeah, she could talk to the dinosaur. So that was the one thing at first I was kind of like, what the fuck did that come from? You know what I mean? Right. But if you read the comic books, the parents came from the future and they brought the dinosaur back because they was able to manipulate um, genes and stuff like that. And they wanted something to protect their daughter. So I was like, hmm, interesting. But except for them being from another time and space, they just said they're here and they're doing generic, genetic mixing and all of that. They wanted something that would protect them and their daughter. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it was based on Jonas because they wanted to be able to, if some shit ever happened, they'll have like, not a pet dog, but a fucking dinosaur. And right. Everything. So I, I didn't know if it was necessary. It became part of the movie, which I didn't mind, but I, it was weird to have them running around with a fucking dinosaur. Right. But it worked. It worked. Yeah, yeah. it did. It did but then work. when I saw the comic book, I was like, they kind of had to do it then. If they didn't do it, then it would take away from the comic book series and gotcha. everything. I so I was you. like, okay. Yeah, and another thing was where, um, let me see if I can remember her name, Caroline, which with the K. Yeah. Um, finding out that her real father was Jonas. Yep. yep. Because they both had the same ability. Yep. Hers was the rainbow. Just yeah, hers with the rainbow, which was mm-hmm. cute. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, her father, and then um, her, the father who raised her mm-hmm. was then. Um, Frank. Yeah, he connected. He wanted to be. He wanted to be, um, I, you know, that he eagle. wanted to be known yeah. because he was a movie star. Yeah. And he wanted to be that guy. Yeah. So if he was be, I want to be the head of the church. And if Jonas does this for me, then it doesn't matter if I turn on all of them. And I was like, yeah, that's, you know, that's that ego, ego yeah. and pride. Yes. And, you know, I just want to be known in that way. So you, you even understood why he did it. Yeah. Even though you'd be like, that was pretty fucked up. No. No, with with the egotism of um, actors and stuff like that, you can kind of understand that. So I thought that was good. I really like the dynamic of the Asian um, couple. I and, did and too. the daughter. I really like. So there was not an older daughter in a comic book. Mm-mm. It didn't exist. So you found out that they had an older daughter. They, yeah. When you found out, but she was looking for magic. Yeah, so stuff that she can find that are that would probably be on her mother and father's server at the company. Right. So she was trying to get into there to find stuff from there, but come to find out, um, 
she was tapping into some other shit. That's right. And that she didn't know what she was getting into. Yep. Because she was looking for something else and finding out that uh, they thought that she committed suicide, mm-hmm. which she didn't. Right. Jonas killed her. Yep. But throughout the, and see it, I really like that too, because throughout the episodes, they kept you thinking, why did she kill herself? Right, right. You know, why did this happen? And then when she found out that, who was it? Alex? So Alex kind of knew something because he was hanging out with her. And, but the problem with that was he should have told her sister, but he was in love with her sister. So he didn't really want her to be mad at him. But yet he didn't know that she was killed. He just knew there was things that she was concerned about. Right. You know what I mean? But he didn't really want to tell everybody from that. So it was really, really interesting dynamics. They didn't get into the the witchcraft or the magic of uh, her mother who had that wand and Yeah, they had that big wand stick. Yeah, they, they really didn't define that right, yet. They, yeah. And then you have Anne, well no, um what's her name? Leslie, who killed um who killed the what's her name? Molly's parents. Mhm. So the comic book, the lead was the black people. Okay. Not Leslie and her church. Yes. It was Jeffrey, um, Alex's dad. He was the leader of all of them. Really? He was the one, you know, actually killing them, sacrificing and doing that. And he was getting them all together, which was, I was like, damn, okay. So they did a lot of things to. That's why I said. Some things you got to recreate so your audience can take it in easily. That's why I said if you if you create things for people to digest, I use the analogy of digesting is if you give somebody something to eat, you don't want it to be too harsh. You want them to be able to say, hmm, OK, thank you. And they can continue to eat it easily. So they created it. So except for looking at this ex gangbanger being the most crudest one in the group. They recreated the most crudest one was the person who was running the church. Right. Which was, both of them was pretty contradicting, where he really didn't want nothing to do with that anymore. But yet, his background showed that he was that type of criminal. So, they said, let me take that totally away and focus somewhere else. So, that's why I'm saying the writing was really, really well done. Because even without me going back to the comic book, I wouldn't have... I would have even saw him not wanting to be the criminal was was him trying to redo his life. You know, I got out of this. I got money. I'm trying to get my son to do well. My wife is taking care of me because she was my lawyer and she's always been my advisor to keep me on track. So you already got that established. Right. Right. So I thought I just thought that was like really, really good, too. So but and she was the one (laughs) that was sleeping with Jonas which was the alien or mutant or whatever you want to call it. Leslie, remember Leslie. Oh, Leslie, I'm sorry. Um, So Leslie. Yeah. And, you know, so she She kept him in a private room. Mm -hmm. But she was in love with him. So her um, way of doing all of this stuff was because she was just so in love. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what that was all about. The, like the black couple was about, look, I want to make a better life for myself. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were all about the money. They wanted success. The Yorkies was all about the science. Yes. Because they love the science. So whatever they can do with the science, that's what they did. Now the other couple, which was the Stearns. So, yeah. With Victor. They were interesting. Yeah. Because he was like a genius. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was a genius. He... He created so much shit. And, you know, what we find out in between that was he made a damn time machine. Yes, he that did. he was trying to do, but mm-hmm. he worked with his son and made a time machine. But he was arrogant and abusive. He was very abusive. His wife had no ability. She wasn't working. She was just a housewife. But, but she was a scientist. But she, when you find out later on, that she had the ability to do things, but they needed her to keep her husband in line. Yep. They Even did. though he was being abusive and everything, she had to deal with it because right. they needed him. Yeah, because he was abusing his son. That was He was abusing his son and he was abusing his wife. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause that was like intense. I was like, wow. But but that's the reality of 
our society. Right, right, right. And, and that's th- why I like this show so much. Right, because I really like the fact that, okay, so, you know, this, this wealthy, he's a scientist and he was abusive. Yeah. And that show well is known. Who, yep, yep. And, and people's like, he's he's a great image in our society. Yes. But yet he was abusive as hell. Yeah. And they was kind of want to ignore seeing it. Besides, you know he mean? had a brain tumor. Yeah. And yeah, then even on top of that. Jonas gave him some of his his uh, blood or his blood, DNA whatever. to mm-hmm. try to re- to to heal him. And he did temporarily. Yep. It seemed then, like it was temporary. And then he came back with this vengeance to want to hurt. Oh, no, to go back to where he was. Yeah. Because yeah. he was he was really fucked up in that way. Yes, but he was. He got like really aggressive. And then I mean? the the Asian couple, which she was very aggressive. Oh, she was very aggressive. And her husband seemed like the weakling. So he was timid, but he loved her. But when after her daughter died, she was distanced yes, and really yes, harsh yes. and everything. And he 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 didn't want to be alone. He wanted it. He wanted more affection, and he didn't get that. So they found each other. You yeah, know, that was the abusive um, wife, Janet. With Janet Stern, which is um, what is her name? That was Victor's wife, right? Victor's Janet. wife, and then you had um, the Asian couple, which was Robert. So that was his name, Robert. Yeah, okay. Robert was to play the character, and I mean, it was. I liked the fact that um, you know, it it was that they were all connected together because they had to be because they were all connected to Jonas, right? So that's the only reason why these this these couples were all together. They didn't stray from that because they had this secret. They had the, what it was, the pride. Yeah. Yes. They had the the secret, their secret society and Mm. they had to keep Jonas alive because Jonas took care of them. Was helping them to get the riches that they want. Exactly. Once again, the greed. Yes, exactly. So I I just, (laughs) just really thought that was, that's typical though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's typical of people saying, if I can get rich, and they making me doing some crazy shit, but no one really knows what we're doing. Yeah, eh, I'll whatever. take advantage of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they was they was sacrificing these kids without really knowing the real repercussions behind it, other than this is required by Jonas in order in order to continue being rich and successful. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, so really good series. I think it was what ten episodes, man. Um, it was eleven episodes. Really? Yeah, they said eleven. It's no, so, it was ten. It was ten. Yeah. Okay. It was ten episodes, and they already renewed it for uh, another season. And critics, you know, they they gave a uh, good uh, reviews on it, so it was pretty good reviews about it. Yes, they did. Yeah, they gave it really, really nice reviews on it. So really worth it, really. I I just thought this was um not quite a kid series, but semi kid series. Just like Stranger Things isn't really a kid series, but kind of a kid series. But they did a very the writing and the directing was pretty um static across. It was really well done. It was different directors um actually directing. And they took the concept and continue to go from there. So I give a lot of credit to the writers because, you know me, I'm, I love people who write creatively. And then when you finish hearing it or, or you finish um, seeing how it's being presented by the director and you say, wow, that was just pretty cool. It dragged in certain areas because they wanted the relationship with seeing the kids you oh know? yeah definitely so it dragged a little in areas but it was all about establishing the relationship with the kids establishing the history of the parents establishing um things that they said earlier to say i know we talked about it now you need to know about molly's parents right and then going back from there hey now what did he want to land now you know why the land is. So there was a lot of things that they just didn't tell you right away because they really wanted to establish who the characters were, what their abilities were, where it probably winded up from, where did they get it from. So all of that um, wind up to be something. And the way, again, I'm going back to, because I read through a couple of issues of the comic book 
quickly because I'm like on I'm like on issue 10 and it pretty much covered almost everything on there but it didn't get to when they ran away and got to a lot of what we seen in the first 10, 10 episodes but it didn't finish it so I'm probably going to finish reading through it up to where the series ended and then I'll probably continue to read from there but they did a very great screenplay rewrite and that's what I enjoyed about it too even though I like the, the series even without Reading through the comic books, right? I like that as well. So. Well, I mean, I love the like I said, I love the characters. It gave me, um, it really reminded me of Stranger Things. But like you said, we talked about it. It was an older version with an older bunch of kids, mm-hmm. and um, it was it was really really good. It was I like like I said, it's like you want to you really wanted to you want to take the size of the teenagers like yeah. the teenagers are like dude what's wrong with our parents they, yeah. oh know. they're evil I hate them but then <laughs> in turn they wanted not to hate their parents yes yes so even though you know automatically they knew they was doing evil but they was kind of like but that's our parents you know they still even though they don't know we know they're evil they 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 still show that they love us but uh, that's just still wrong. You know what I mean? Right, right. And, and that's what I like that dynamic too. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because it still showed realistically my parents may have done bad things, but yet they've shown me love and that they care about me. So should I really turn them in? It, this is just very confusing for me. You know what I mean? So I, I just thought that was really, really interesting. So. Other than that, you know, we don't rate it, but I really think this is something um, that people will enjoy, um, especially young teenagers, even adults, because it's interesting. It's not big time sci-fi and it's not big time superhero-ish. Mm-hmm. It's really not a big time in that way. Uh, the special effects is really minimal. Right. Um, it, they show it. But it's not centered on, you know, you got to see these special effects. It's the dynamics of the children and um, the parents and the storyline of why this shit is really going on. So which made you center on the story as opposed to this, the powers and everything, which right. I which I liked a lot more. You know right, what I mean? Right. I am. Like I said, I love the story. I, I definitely would. um recommend Daya to watch it <laughs> mm. oh yeah oh yeah very <laughs> our granddaughter um and we will can probably continue to watch it when the next um series come out oh yeah i'm definitely gonna watch it because i'm not I, I really liked it it's, it's certain ones like for example um i really like preacher um um that series preacher was is just crazy as hell <laughs> um but the comic book is pretty much like that it they they did a couple of things different but it's good to stay true to the comic books as close to it as possible and they was close to it as possible yeah and that's Um, i love the fact when they do that you know so walking dead did that walking dead did that we did the sort of documentary on that one too yeah yeah so on that on the guy who created yeah the image um comics yeah he was an image when they broke away from um, Marvel and yes, everything. Marvel, so that was yeah. a really great series too. So speaking of comic books, the AMC has a series of um, the history of the hidden comic books and blah, blah, blah. Um, so they told about image comic books. It talked about um, the black series comic books. And I mean, it's just, I'm just losing me right now. But there was um, a couple of comic books that, black writers and illustrators did and they broke away from marvel as well and they did well and show one of the head guys uh, i think the head writer he died of a heart attack he had a heart attack and he supposedly recovered and all of a sudden he died um but there was a lot of characters that they had there that was positive black characters and there was just a couple from there there's about three other series that was kind of like eh, do i really want to see it eh, i don't know um but those are very very interesting but image comic image comics really changed the way uh comics were done and those writers and illustrators went back to marvel 
at a certain time that made Spider-Man certain different. They made Daredevil different. They made so many ways that comics now are saying it's darker, it's more realistic, and it's more emotional, and it's not all about fun because we don't live in a nice, fun world. And their darkness and reality shows, yep, that's it right there. So, um, but very good. This is need to be done. Um, there's another one coming out. And I, I actually love this series, but I'm not sure how well it's going to be because it's on a, another. It's called Cloak and Dagger. And it's, it's an interracial teenage couple um, that got together. And one of them is a big cloak. And he's, he, he's in Marvel a lot. And both of them show up here and there, but they're two teenagers and, and it's a black guy and a white girl. But it's a really if you read the comics there, there's really good storyline, but I'm not sure if they're going to do it well because it's on one of the kitty networks and it has been delayed for the last year and a half. So it still haven't been released out yet. So here's another teenage one. If they don't do it well, it's going to really look kind of um lack of a better word shitty um but looking forward to at least checking it out and seeing how they created that one but anywho um anything else on this note no baby that's it go on and see runaways on hulu it's on hulu surprisingly um what you call it should have picked it up um i'm not sure if they would have done netflix meaning i'm not sure if they would have done any better but uh, Hulu got some great writers and directors that really done this. So it looks like they got a good hit on their hand that will be continuous. So Marvel is everywhere. And if you didn't know, uh, Disney brought the Fox uh, other characters. So they're going to be bleeding over as well. Yeah, they sure did, didn't they? So And then Disney may be snatching up their Netflix characters to put on their own network. Since Disney's going to have their own network too. But... Urban Lifestyle Cafe. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother. Watch us or, excuse me, listen to us on bougieblackbrother.com. Um, see us on little previews that we put out on IG and Twitter on the Bougie Black Bro, all fine BLK woman, as well as iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Thank you, all you Spotify listeners. Um, Because we just got on this year and that is growing. Uh, Just continue on. It seems as though, and I don't know you knew, baby, but they kind of love the movies and the music. So there's a lot of um, listening to our movies and our our music reviews. Wow, that's incredible. um, Really would love to get your comments and just let us know that will really, really go well with what we do for the future but um thanks for all those subscribers there as well um but thank you very much and we'll see you next this is our tv series so we'll see you next tuesday for our movie uh no our tv series review movie reviews are wednesdays so see you next tuesday and thanks so much for stopping by urban lifestyle cafe bye bye Thank you.